Hey YouTubers, it's Dansky. So in this video, we're going to be looking at making some general photo retouches before moving into adding a bit of digital makeup. Okay, so I've got my image here, my humanoid image, and I'm going to first start by just bringing up the contrast and the color because to me it looks a bit washed out. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and brightness and contrast. And I'm gonna click OK. And then just bring the, uh, the brightness down a tiny bit just to get a bit more color back into the skin. And then bring the contrast up. And I can then flick that on and off down here. Okay, great. And next I want to add a little bit more vibrancy back into the hair in particular. So I'm gonna create a new layer and go Vibrance. You can create new layers from down on the bottom right or you can do it from the top left as well. And I'm just gonna up the vibrance a little bit. And you can preview that again. But we just want this to affect the hair. So what I'm gonna do is I've got my layer mask here, make, that, make sure that's selected, and then get the paint bucket and with black selected, just click. And if you looked closely there, you'll notice that it disappeared. So now what we want to do is press X to flip the foreground and the background color around, select the brush tool, make sure we've got a nice soft brush with a hardness of zero. And what we're gonna do is just adjust our brush size. Remember you can do that using the square brackets just to bring the size down or up. And we're just gonna paint back in the hair. If I zoom in a bit. So you can see we're just doing this on the hair and it's just painting that bit of vibrancy back in. There we go, just do that around the skin. All over the hair. And this is quite a subtle change so you don't have to be too careful about uh, worrying about getting everything exactly right. There we go. That's a really quick one. And if I flick this layer on and off, you can see it just gives it a little bit more color. Okay, next we're gonna go and move on to some, some eyeshadow. So if we create a new layer, or adjustment layer rather, and we're gonna have a hue and saturation layer. No, that is complete rubbish. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna create just a new normal layer bog standard layer. And if you go to the color palette, you can select a color. So I'm gonna go for a kind of pinky, ready color. Again, nice soft brush. And we're just gonna paint, paint in our eyeshadow. That looks a bit rubbish at the minute, but don't worry, we are going to improve that. Okay, so with that painted in, just go down to the blending mode options here and click on soft light. Okay, so you can see it blends into the skin a bit more and we can just add a layer mask to this. Make sure we've got black selected along with a feather brush and we can just tidy up these edges here. So as with masks before, you can paint in with the black and then if you make a mistake, you just press X to swap the foreground and the background and then make the correction and then flip them back again. So it's a really good way just to kind of work with masks really quickly. There you go, and you can just paint that in, make it a bit more, a bit more subtle around the edges. And then we can just bring that opacity down as well. And then you can have the eyeshadow as strong as you like. So let's say something about, let's about say about 60%. Okay, so that's how you add some eyeshadow. And now lastly, we're just gonna, just gonna give the lips a bit more color. So for this one, we're gonna create a new layer again. And we're gonna get a nice, nice sort of deep red. And same as we did with the eyeshadow, we're just gonna carefully paint over the lips. Just be careful on this one, you don't paint over over the skin or the teeth because on this it will be a little bit more noticeable. So just zoom in as you need to and remember to adjust those brush sizes to get a bit more detail. Okay. There we 
go, so something like that. It's a bit rough around the edges, but you can spend a bit longer. This is just to give you an idea. And then we're just going to go to soft light again. And you can see that makes quite a difference. You can even go to overlay to get a stronger color, depending on what you're going for. Let's have a look at multiply. Okay, multiply is probably, probably a bit strong. But there's a few different blending modes you can use to get different effects. Hard light, see that's a bit too harsh. So I think soft light or overlay are probably the best ones. So I can just put, set that to overlay, but then bring it down a bit to something like 30%. So it looks like they've got a real kind of gloss to them now. So I could just switch that layer on and off. You can see the difference. And then what you can do with this layer set to overlay in 30%, you can go back to your brush tool and you can just start painting more in into that layer and it will paint it in a 30% opacity with a blending mode set to overlay. So you can really kind of work in the detail there. And then again, you can create a layer mask just to kind of refine that and sort of soften it around the edges just so it doesn't look very, very red and then go into the skin color, which can look a bit fake. You want it to look natural and not totally unrealistic. Okay. And that's how you retouch a photo, apply a bit of digital makeup for a finished piece. I hope that was helpful. If it was, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you've got any techniques that you use to add digital makeup, it would be great to hear about them. And I'll see you in my next video.